Add to on the right in the navy gi is Shane Jamil Hill Taylor. In the white gi, Fabricio Andre. Now, Fabricio Andre is the air quotes rookie black belt. And let's, we've got to see this warm up, this start. Look at, keep an eye on Fabricio Andre. His power up right at the start of the match. I love this. But Shane Jamil Hill Taylor, ice cold, looks absolutely unfazed, jumping into the guard position. You know, and I was about to say that uh, this is Fabrizio's biggest challenge, as in, I, like, thinking about the idea that he may not have had tough challenges in this match. But then we go back to the idea that Kishinya was his first fight. You know, so he has proven himself a lot this weekend, you know. And so Already. this is a, yeah. another big challenge, of course. But interesting squatted position that he's in. Almost like the patented Mikey squat, just kind of chilling here. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, this bracket and how this way is, this has played out. This is a semi-final match. So, Shane Jamil Hill Taylor, he had a, uh, a win over Diego Sodre uh, yesterday, his first match, and then he had a uh, a very close match earlier with Richard Magera, but that one ended with Magera being disqualified during a leg lock attempt for a, an illegal maneuver, whereas. Fabrizio Andre, yes. three opponents so far, three very tough black belts. His first round, Osvaldo Queixinho submitted him with a choke from the back. His second match, Joao Mendes of Atos submitted him with a choke from the back. His third match, Danilo Moreira submitted him with a choke from the back. Fabrizio Andre, one of the most exciting here. talents in the featherweight division. And going up against uh, an established black belt, a big name, a world champion yes. in Jamil Hill Taylor. This is uh, this is his moment. This is an opportunity for him to announce to the world exactly who Fabrizio Andre is. Yeah, absolutely. In this position so far, just very, very calculated. Some big movements, but not anything that uh, was enough to score. But look at that really deep lasso from Shane Jamil Hill from like the he's laying on his side, shooting that lasso deep. But answering is Fabrizio with his right foot to the back of Shane's hamstring to keep that loss from coming in, but it does come in once again. This lasso guard, if you uh, hadn't noticed, you can see the patch on Jamil Hill Taylor's back, the lasso syndicate. This is the, uh, the group that he has created, whereby you can learn some of Jamil's signature techniques. A, uh, a noted technician, one of the um, one of the best technicians uh, out of the team Lloyd Irving camp. Apparently, he is uh, much like we were saying about Jonathan Grace and Antos. Apparently, Jamil Hill Taylor is one of those guys. If you've got a technical problem, you go to Jamil and you say, Jamil, how do I fix this? He's got the answer. Came up from the the kids program at wow. Team Lloyd Irving, training since he was a uh, basically a little kid in the martial arts program and. Came all the way through from white to black belt training in the same team. Do you know how old he is? Early 20s. Early 20s, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He uh, won his first black belt world title in, in 2018. He was the only the fifth American ever to win a, uh, a black belt world title. The first African American man to win a IBJJF black belt world title. Incredible achievement. But then since that 2018 World Championships, 2019, was, uh, was not his year. He, uh, he came close, he lost uh, in the finals of the, the Pan Championships and was unable to capture gold at Worlds. Had an attempt to uh, ADCC, but uh, went out second round. And since then, he told me that he has been dealing with a series of injuries that, that kept him out of action for a, for a lengthy period, including broken ribs and herniated discs in his neck but now he says that he feels good he feels healthy and definitely looks it ready to go looks ready <laughs> looks healthy looks strong has been nothing but dominant this entire competition this entire tournament both you know, of these gentlemen the same in the same boat one thing that we haven't mentioned actually about Fabricio Andre Kendall is that uh, he's a, uh, a teammate and a close friend and training partner of the uh, the phenomenon Mika Galval of course, Mika Galvao had that incredible run at brown belt, very recently was promoted to black belts, had some standout moments as a, uh, in both gi and no gi, one of the brightest prospects in the world. And hailing from Manaus, Manaus is one of the 
the toughest cities in the world in terms of jiu-jitsu. They produce some really special competitors there in Brazil. Something in the water there for sure. <laughs> I like uh, I like seeing Fabricio nodding at his at his corner, shaking his head, not looking too worried. And he keeps going back to this, like I keep calling it the Mikey squad. He keeps going into the squatted position. The and Mikey no squad. I think everybody <laughs> knows exactly what you mean when you say that. Yep. <laughs> and oh, nice huge pass attempt. attempt there from Andre. Definitely will score him the advantage if he doesn't finish here, I would Putting imagine. Putting his foot on the gas pedal here, looking to get around, looking to throw those legs across. The back is open, and we know he has such great back attacks from this turtle position. Is he going to be able to come up, but insisting on the pass oh, instead? Oh, that sleeve grip saved Jameel Hill-Taylor wow. then. What an amazing recovery from Jameel Hill-Taylor. I am very surprised not to see any advantages awarded for either the back or the pass. Not out of danger yet, though. Andre is turning up the heat now. That lasso was preventing him from opening up, and now I, I sense that Andre, he's found his rhythm, he's, he's had a taste of what Jamil has, and you just saw that, the tiniest opening, and he was all yeah. over it. And I think that's a big thing for confidence, too, when you feel that shift in a match, and you feel the edge, and you found the path. Doesn't mean you're gonna pass the guard, necessarily. You don't really know what's gonna happen in the match, of course, but that change in confidence really really not only affects the person on the offense but for the person being attacked it's a it's it's a tough blow to eat a lot of the time and right back into the spider lasso that we've seen a lot of in the last few hours yeah very common uh, attack position here at pans and definitely one of the ones that jameel favors you know i'm just thinking that intensity, that acceleration that Fabricio Andre had, look at the way he's stepping on the leg there to yep. pin the leg of uh, Jamil Taylor. That acceleration and that burst, that blitz that he put on Jamil, Jamil's, his ability to handle that and calmly recover guard, I think that's a sign that he's been, well, he's got such great training partners who put him under pressure in the room. And one of those that he actually indicated was the brown belt lightweight champion earlier this week, Elijah Dorsey, his mm -hmm. teammate. And he said that me and Elijah, yeah, we go to war. You know, he's one of those guys right. who pushes me the most. And, and that kind of sequence right there, I imagine that he's been in those moments in the gym so many times that when Fabricio Andre comes after him like that in the competition, he's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I know what to expect. <laughs> I can deal with this. Yeah, absolutely. But I love to see the gas tank of Fabrizio with that big acceleration because now we know if there is another moment with, you know, some space or some opening, he is not going to shy away from picking up the pace. Shaking his head here, nodding to his corner, you know, looking very, very, uh, very confident in this position. To be waiting for this opportunity. Look at that super deep lasso from from Shane, when we see that shin go across the back like that, that is a very unique position. It's very ice. The person on top can feel very, very uh, stuck. Just their arm is totally isolated. Not even just the arm, but the shoulder, the way it attaches to the back. But now we're in a bit of a looser shot. isn't it? It's so hard to remove yourself from that position. It looks, oh, nice. I like the way that Jamil was putting the lasso between the legs then. Possibly looking to set up a sweep, but Fabrizio Andre, he seems to have the technical answers for the, uh, the problems that, uh, that Jamil Hill-Taylor is, is offering right now. Well, it's a very difficult position to deal with on top, like we said, and, and a lot of the time, you know, the top player will spend the majority of the time in these kind of matches just trying to unwind that spider lasso, yeah. right? They, you can't get a whole lot of passing going on until we start to unwind that guard. The other thing, though, as well, is that the person on bottom will have to switch between a shallow lasso, De La Hiva, deep lasso, different inversions, different opportunities there, to, or, you know, De La Hiva on the other side with the spider leg in order to score, because just specifically from this spider lasso, it is very difficult to sweep or submit my opponent. I have to start to transition to other versions of the guard. And we're seeing Shane do that a lot. He's bringing that right leg over the elbow and the knee. Looks like he's looking for a De La Hiva hook with that right foot when he does that. But when he does that, we see the Mikey squat in action. <laughs> and squat. it's very hard to insert that De La Hiva hook when the hamstring is pinned to the calf that way. So Pretty there's no amazing. space for his foot to come in. Pretty amazing this match is still 0-0. No advantages scored either as well for that earlier attack sequence from Fabrizio Andre because of the grips and the control. And we have just over one minute left in this match. And 
I have to say, if this does go to a decision, probably going to favor Fabrizio Andre because of that, that acceleration and, like you say, that, that pressure that he put Jamil under. So, Jamil, as calm as he is and as uh, relaxed as he looks, I feel like he needs to make a, a big statement because it's that old adage, isn't it? It's like yes. the last thing that the judges see is the, what's freshest in their mind right. and they remember the best. And when it comes to the decision, you want that big impression. Absolutely. And I think we're going to see a big blitz here by Mauricio. Ah, uh, there's a lasso again. I think, I think you're right. Oh, big pass tempo. That lasso still in there. Tilt there from Jamil. Will he come up to his feet? He's going to try. Tries it. Now goes through to the De La Hiva. Passing the lapel through as well. Very good off balancing here with oh, that lapel. Oh, coming up to his feet. Armpit. Will he be able to score an advantage here? That could be the defining moment, but so could this footlock. Hi. We have Mauricio. seconds left in this match, and Jamil's on the back. Jamil is on the back, one hook in, they go out of bounds. And he will, even if he does not get the back, he will score an advantage for this one hook there in. There are four seconds left in this match. A very tough restart right on the edge of bounds. We said that Jamil needed to make a statement right there at the edge of the mat, capturing the seatbelt, capturing the grip around the waist of Fabrizio Andre. He's got one hand in the back of the collar. We'll try to get the second hook in. Very frustrating to see on Fabrizio's to do so, face. But that he knew could what was about to happen. It. It zero, is. zero. Let's see what happens. Fabrizio Andre thinks that he's lost. You can see the look Very on his upset. face. He is beating himself up. He feels like he has thrown this match away in the last 20 seconds. That's really rough. Really Preempting the see. judges' decisions. I mean, you just don't know, but. I think I'm going to have to agree. I think that Jamil has stolen this in the last seconds of the oh, match, Kendall. Yeah, because it's only score on the board. It's just that advantage, correct? Just the one Oh, advantage. here it is. There, The yes. advantage was was awarded. Yeah, it's for the back because he had the one hook in. And, and there was only four seconds left, so he definitely had the advantage for the back. So very, very upset. It's hard to see athletes be so hard on themselves. Jamil Hill-Taylor gets it done here in the pan. Semi-final moves through into the final later today.